Hello, everybody, and welcome back to FE Made Easy. In today's video, uh, we will be talking about soil properties, uh, so ge geotechnical engineering. And I am showing you a problem that requires a bit of a different approach. Usually when you have a problem where soil property problem, you are able to solve it by using the formulas in the FE handbook. But this one is a little bit different and it requires a bit of a different approach and I wanted to show you. As always, I want to remind those with an engineering degree from outside of United States, if you are trying to evaluate your education in United States of America, I have put together a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. So make sure to click the link below and you'll be able to download it for free. Now let's move on with the problem. What is the dry unit weight of a soil with a porosity n equals 0.23, specific gravity of solids 2.7, and water content 20%? Let's go ahead and look in our FE handbook for the formula for the dry unit weight. Here is our civil engineering, the geotechnical part, and we have all these formulas and we need the dry unit weight. Here it is. So gamma dry equals to weight of solid over the volume. Let's write this down. So we have to calculate weight of solids and the volume. Let's look at the other things that we are given. We're giving the specific gravity of solids so we've got the formula of specific gravity of solids equals to weight of solids per volume of solids over gamma water. And then we have water content. Let's also write the formula for water content. Weight of water super weight of water over weight of solids times 100. Usually when you have these types of problems, uh, the way to solve them is to go into your FE handbook and look at all the formulas they're given to you. And usually you are able to figure out and calculate for what the problem is asking for. Now in this particular case, in this type of problem, you will figure out pretty soon that there's no way for you to actually calculate for the um, dry unit weight because you're not given enough information. So this problem needs a different approach. And I'm looking here that I forgot to write the formula for the porosity. Let's look in our FU handbook, porosity equal to volume of voids over the volume, volume of voids over a volume. So I was talking about the different approach and this is the approach we're going to do. So the porosity, which is volume of voids over volume equals to 0 0.23. Now let's say volume equals to one cubical foot. This means that if the volume is one cubical foot, our volume of voids equals to 0 0.23 cubical feet. And then we know volume of solids equals to total volume minus volume of voids. And that will be 0 0.77 cubical feet. Now we know all these things. We have to calculate looking at our uh, dry unit weight uh, formula, we need the total volume, which we already uh, calculated here. And now we need the weight of solids. Let's look at our specific gravity of solids. And from this formula, we are able to calculate the weight of solids. Let's calculate it. Weight of solids equals to specific gravity of solids times volume of solids times gamma water equals to 
2.70 times volume of solids is 0 0.77 cubical feet times gamma water. Go back to your hand, uh, handbook, FE handbook, and if you don't know, it is given here. It is 62.4 pounds over cubical feet, 62.4 pounds over cubical feet. This means that weight of solids equals to, let's calculate 2.7, 0 0.77, multiply 62.4, multiply. It is 129.73 pounds. Great, now let's go to our dry unit weight formula, which is weight of solids, which is 129.73 pounds over the entire volume, which is one cubical feet. And that means the dry unit weight equals to 129.73 pounds over cubical feet. And this is the answer. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps people like you find me. Keep up the good work and practice FE problems and I will see you next week.